Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, episode 326. 25 plus 1 plus 300 is 326, cause math, cause you shouldn't do math on Christmas Eve. No, you shouldn't. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope everybody is all ready, cause it's coming. Well, guess who's not ready? This girl right here. <laughs> Haven't wrapped a darn thing. <laughs> How can that be? Mm. We hope you're well, and uh, we hope that... Uh, Whatever you <laughs> need to get done, that you, you get, get it done. Because Santa's clock is coming, ticking. baby. Santa's yeah. coming. Santa is coming. Are the lights distracting? No, you? not to me. No, <laughs> because <laughs> you know it's all about you, really, <laughs> truly. Okay, well, let's proceed. Okay. All right. So we have had quite a week. We have, yeah, we yeah. have had a week. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> So starting off on Monday was my birthday. I turned 36 years old. Thank you all so very much for all of your incredibly wonderful, kind birthday wishes. They mean the world to me. So my birthday is my second favorite holiday right after Christmas. That's right. And so I had a really great day. Um, and so um, I opened presents with my friends on Zoom. Well, it was on Marco Polo, but same difference. And so that was really fun. I got a lot of, I was spoiled absolutely rotten. So thank you all so very much. And um, for those of you that sent cards and gifts, you all are the best. I appreciate it very much. Um, and then on uh, Tuesday, we went down to the Montgomery and Boathouse for my birthday dinner, which we do every year. So that was very exciting. And then Wednesday, we had our staff Christmas party for keepsake, so that was great. Um, and we had an eventful end of the week, but we'll see when we talk about that. That's right. Okay. Keep it could happen at any moment. Keep your keep. So your don't toes. pause the video. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, um, and then, uh, yeah, worked on Friday, and then I am off for a full week. So I go, back, I go back to work on Friday. So um, a lot of hanging out and stitching and spending time together. That's right. Because that's what Christmas is all about. People. Yes, it is. Yes. Is that going to be your voice the whole no. time? Or? Okay. No. Okay. Well, we do not have a stitch harmony. We I do not. to tell you. Yeah. No, it's fine. No worries. Okay. So we'll start uh, hopefully next week so with I, some more stitch harmonies. So I can go right to my kazoo. So you can go right to your kazoo. Yes. Did I print this off? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. I would have made a note if you hadn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what does that mean? That means that it's time for Pam's pin comment, and that's the comment of all the comments we got after last week's video that you know tickle my fancy. <sighs> Fancy tickle. And I want to tell you, this was more than a tickle. Oh, boy. This was a guffaw, like guffaw on guffaw on Can guffaw. Can you stop saying guffaw? Because I don't know what it means. It means yeah. ho, 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 ho. Like, it's almost really? like a Santa I'm so ho, glad ho, that, ho. that noise is now ingrained in YouTube forever. So That's right. That was a fun time. Anyway, um, so if you were with us, it, yes. Hardy. Hardy from the... From the gut. From the gut. Okay, great. And uh, and that is because it came from someone that I know and like tremendously. Yes. And it had to do with some foolish gem of my Hold mouth. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. And sometimes that happens, as those of you who watch us on a regular basis know, yeah. and I sometimes don't even hear myself say Correct. It. It's my favorite when she doesn't even know. But the fact of the matter is, just long story short, mm -hmm. um, I do not let animals in my bedroom. No. And I referenced the rest of the house mm -hmm. as being the public area. <laughs> I don't know why I use the public area as a phrase. <laughs> there, are many before, can, there are many things I can There are many things I cannot explain. People. Correct. But I called sure. it the public area. She did. So, 
A lot of you had things to say. About a lot it. of a lot of people <laughs> referenced my phrase, "the public area." Yes, you did. But the best one of all was from our friend Carla. Yes, who we cannot wait to see at Stitch Away in so January. Excited. By the way, yes. And Carla said. <laughs> If Pam's bedroom is open to the public, this becomes an entirely different video. Yes, it does. But you can see my you Chris. can see my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Carla, this was so fresh, good. so good, fresh. LOLs. So I, I, I took Carla's zinger and I pinned it to the top of all the comments after last week's sure video. Did. Yes, and um. We thank you for all the wonderful comments. Of yes, course, we're did. getting lots and lots of comments because we're giving away absolutely wonderful Christmas bundles. If we, don't, if we do so, so ourselves. We think they're pretty good. We think they're great. So, uh, anyway, thank you. So thank you, Carla. Thank you, Carla. And thank you to all that commented. That's right. We appreciate it. Okay, ready? That means it's time for Silver and Gold. Silver and Gold is our segment Yep. where we shout out two floss tube channels that we highly recommend. Yes. And it comes from the old Girl Scout song, uh, Make New Friends, Keep the Old, One is Silver and One is Gold. Yes. Now, the dilemma that we have sometimes with picking an older and a newer uh -huh. is that the definition of older is becoming... Um, Referenced more recently, yeah, in floss tube history. Mm. I see what you're saying. In the sense that an older floss tube, say, might have started in 2020 during the pandemic, which a lot of floss tubers originated that year. Right. Yeah, that's true. What else am I going to do? I might as well make a floss tube. Yeah. Sure. 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 I feel isolated, but strong in the community. also, the newer floss tubers are, like, super new. Yeah, like super, brand new. Super, super new. Yes. So, don't think in terms of preconceived notions of old and new. Sure, sure, sure. We have, in the past, since we started this series, we have referenced floss tubers who have been doing floss tube for literally years. Yeah. Like we have. Yeah. But the abundance of floss tube channels has necessitated... Making some time adjustments, if you will. Yeah. So, that being said. Yep. Our silver floss tuber is. Our silver floss tuber is a lovely young lady. Yes. And she is recently, well, I'm going to say she's in her 20s. Sure. Just more or less out of college. Okay. And her name is Rachel. Yep. And her channel is Lemonade Stitching. It is. And we don't know whether Rachel watches us or not, but... Um, she must. She... She's she <laughs> You don't have to, Rachel. It's fine. No. Um, she... Um, it's just a delight. Rachel has been making videos for just a little over a year. Yes. And when she started, she was back east. Um, she had um, gone to... Uh, college back east. Yep. I'm thinking New York State. I'm thinking Eastern New York State. Um, and she made them, she started them about a year ago. Mm -hmm. In the course of her making videos, she is now located in Lexington, Kentucky. And yes. she's made two or three trips to keep six. She has. And um, so uh, what I liked about Rachel is she's so, uh, she's so honest about her journey. She went through her grandmother's stash That's and cool. recorded a lot of how she organized her grandmother's old charts. Mm -hmm. Of course, vintage. I'm all there. Yeah. And um, she referenced um, a friend of Steph's and mine uh, who um, we've also met who talks about thinking about your reason for making floss tubes mm -hmm. and one of the very valid reasons for making a floss tube channel and recording is to yes. document your journey. Absolutely. And so 100%. this is what, this is what Rachel has embraced. Um, she's up to 14 videos now folks. Yeah. And um, that includes a recent whip parade 
And she, like I said, she's relocated and she's nearby. She's so, stitching those months. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm obsessed with those months from, uh, yeah. are those, um, Corchetta Go Go months? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. They're so cute. She's very she's really enjoyable and very enthusiastic. Yeah. And you need to go give her some love We're because love. those of us who've been around for a while, we need to reach back and take the hand of some of these young new stitchers yes, and bring them along it. with us. Absolutely. So we encourage you to check out Rachel. That's yes. Lemonade Stitching. And she is also on Instagram, I believe. Too. Yes, that's Lemonade Stitching is on Instagram. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And our gold floss tuber, again, think about time frame. Mm -hmm. We're calling her gold. She started her channel, which is What's Morgan Stitching? Uh, during the pandemic in 2020, during the lockdown. And um, she is an, in, and I'm going to try to say it correctly, you guys, Melbourne. Oh, I think I did it. Yeah. Melbourne, yeah. Australia. Yep. Okay. Yep. And she is also young. Um, oh, she has made some absolutely beautiful things. You she guys. has made 37 videos since 2020. Um, she, uh, gravitates towards Bella Filipina. I was going to say the fancy ladies. The fancy things. ladies from Bella Filipina and also hello from Liz Matthews. Yeah. And uh, absolutely. she has a great channel. So go check out both. She just did a wrap up yeah. of her finishes videos. Yeah. Video or 2023. She's very, very. Look at this beautiful thing she did. Yeah. And that then... is a, oh, who's the designer? Does she say yeah, that? Yeah, it says the pattern. It's Gecko Rouge. Gecko Rouge. You yeah. know, the really kind of high price kits. Intense. Um, yeah. And then she did the Pisces. Yeah. Um, and then this other one from Autumn Lane, I think. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Yeah. But she's got great fabric choices. She posts a lot. Mm -hmm. But like, this is my vibe right here. Yeah. Look at that beauty. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. so pretty. Yeah. That is the Schoolhouse Quaker from Stone Street Stitch Works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She has some beautiful things, you guys. You need to go check her out. Okay, so that's our silver and gold. Yes, ma'am. Head on over there. You don't yeah. have anything to do, do you? No. So go check them out. Yes, please do. All right. Let's talk about stitching, shall we? And how long are we going to keep these lights on? I mean, that's up to you, Pam. Do you want to turn them off? Well, what about... I'm not just saying the lights. I'm talking... Hats. The hats in general? The hats in general. Are they itchy? Do you want to take it off? I feel like... I feel like they're making my eyes water. <laughs> I don't think that's not true, but we can take the hats off. Okay. I mean, I'm having a great hair day, so why not? Okay. Woo. And then <sighs> um, let me turn off your light so we don't drain. Turn off my light. <laughs> well, yeah, it's better than turning on. Okay. Um, I don't know where you're pressing. Well, you know, I got the magic touch, baby. Okay. Well, thank you. We'll preserve those. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about stitching, shall we? Well, let's. The hats are off. We'll put the hats back here. Yeah. Okay. And what have you been stitching this week, Steph? Well, Pam, um, this is the this was the third week of December, and therefore my third Christmas whip of the month, and. The one that I am working on is Santa Stops Here from With a Needle and Thread. I love this so very much. Uh, I don't know why, but for some reason, like the last, the first two weeks of December, I was like all about those projects I was working on. This one, I just wasn't the vibe. I don't know. I just like, I wasn't like daydreaming about it the way that I was um, the other pieces. So the... Is so it the roof that's it's just the roof is large, you know. The roof it's is a large, it's roof. a large roof. Um, I mean, the house is large too, but there's different color changes and stuff in the, okay. in the house. So, anyway, so I'm stitching mine, uh, on the call for which is 36 count linen in winter brew, excuse me, from RR Reproductions using all of the call for threads, which is a combination of classic color works, weeks, and DMC. And this is how much I have done. 
So I will tell you that I just had like literally two berries done when I picked it up. So yeah. Yeah. I finished the entire left side of border. So this is as tall as it is. And then I went and did these so I could count down to make sure that all of this was in the right place. So, um, and it's just a lot of roof. Um, so like the border has four colors in it, two reds, two greens. Um, and then I like, I thought maybe I would go over and like do the tree and there's a couple reindeer over here, but I decided against that. So, um, so I'm not the, like, I'm excited to put it away, but <laughs> when it's like a big swath of, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just looking closely at it. Oh. Um, looks great. Yeah. I mean, it looks good, but it's just a lot of, like the one that I did last week, the Prairie Schooler had like 7,000 color changes and it was mm -hmm. fun to like see the things come to life. Isn't it funny how you're saying that more or less monotonous, single color, large spaces are making you lose interest in it. Yeah. Whereas somebody looks at something that has a lot of color changes and they get overwhelmed by they, it. And overwhelmed by the color changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I'm sometimes like that. Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes, like, this would be great for, like, a retreat. Yeah, where you just sit and talk. And, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. you just fill in the roof, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. because I started in... Well, maybe you should take it to stitch away. Yeah. So because I started in the top left, you hit that roof first. Mm -hmm. So you have to go and do all the way over here. But if you don't do it first, will you want to ever go back to that area? What is... Oh, Snowflake up there on the roof. I was looking at oh, what yeah, that yeah, space yeah. was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then there's... This little situation is so pretty. We had a local stitcher that um, actually came in because he wanted the, he stitched this and then um, he was like struggling with the ribbon, which I would be struggling too. So he had Barbara put the um, ribbon on Ralph for him and um, oh, it's so beautiful finished, but man, you got to get through that roof, that roof first. So um, no. Well, that's the last you'll see of that for a minute. <laughs> um, so I have one more Christmas whip yep. that I will pull out today mm -hmm. and I'll work on all next week. And then I do have a Christmas start scheduled. So you'll see that next week as well. And then I have a New Year New Start too, of course. And wow. then a Stitch Away start. Wow. I thought I was going to have a birthday start. You're going to have a Christmas Day start, a New Year's Day start, and a Stitch Away start? Yeah. Oh. I was going to have a birthday start, but I never got around to it. Okay. Okay. Never well, that's it. coming right up. It is. It is. So, okay. um, uh, come here. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I love the fabric. I love the design. I love everything about it. It just, you know. Was, so, was, are you going to put it away now until yeah. tomorrow I'm, when I'm, you have your Christmas Day start? I'm going to put this away after we're done recording yeah and then i have my fourth christmas whip oh that you're gonna bring out yes that okay. i'm gonna bring out for the final week of december got it and then um then i'll have my start tomorrow that i'll work on all day tomorrow right, right. and then i'll have my new year new start that i'll work on all day next monday got it so Sign. It is very exciting, everyone. It's very, very, very exciting. It is. Okay, so that is all I've been working on this week. So, how's our life? Okay, Pam, what okay. have you been doing with your life? All right. Well, I've been doing a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, this is a cell that I was doing. Um, with some Stitch West folks, mm -hmm. and I'm interested in finishing this up. Uh, clearly, I did not make the cutoff for Stitch West, and I'm kind of disappointed I didn't. So are we. But I am very close. And what's so the name of this? This is called Sunnyside Sampler from the Drawn Thread. I yep. got the entire kit directly from the drawn thread. Sure did. And it is... Pam, you need to just finish it. I've been working on it even today. Okay. 
Gosh. But when I said to you yesterday, I said, <laughs> when I said to you yesterday, you should just work on that to finish it. You were like, well, I already declared that I wasn't going to have any more finishes for the year. Oh, oh, well, I'll just, finish it. I'll finish it right after the first thank of the you. year. No, just finish it today. No, no, no. I have a lot of over one to do on this. Finish it this week, ma'am. Just do it. Just Everyone just tell her to do it. It's going to be in my 2024 finish count. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So, this is what it is, <laughs> folks. We'll, we'll carry on later. Yeah. <laughs> so, it starts here. Would you like me to help you, Pam? And it goes all the way to here. Okay. Yeah, I don't really need a nose. It's fine. So <laughs> <laughs> you only use it for breathing and smelling things. Isn't it? It's gorgeous? one over two on thirty-two count, and it was a full kit from the drawn thread. Sorry, I just wanted to show that house in the middle there. Look at those satin stitched apples. Yep. Oh, I like that blue house. I do too. I like the flower pot. I love your enthusiasm. I, I like that blue house once I got it in. I did. I really like the flower pots in the uh -huh. front, which is sweet. Yeah. So, yay. So, oh yeah, you still have to cross those stitches up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I just was working on it like 10 oh, minutes yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's, it's a so beautiful pretty. Piece. It's a beautiful piece. I mean, look at this little. <laughs> Look at this little over one little bee. Yeah, uh, that's my favorite. Him? He's so cute. And the way the butterfly came out. Yes, mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the satin apples. Satin yes, I apples. have to say that I think that between that house and that one looks most like ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely beautiful. So, pen. this is what I will work on. Um, work on it right up to the first of the year, and then you can finish it on New Year's Day. Possibly. That's what needs to happen, because that's absurd for you to put that back in your whip pile. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. It's Yikes, I just cracked up. Yep, you sure did. Did you hear that noise? Because you've got 47 different layers happening here. No, I put it on the wrong side. I almost put a clamp on top of, of a clamp. clamp. Have you ever done that? I'm sure they have. <laughs> it, uh, stitches tell, dilemmas yeah, yeah, yeah. so anyway oh, that's, this might, might be time we might have an interruption okay so we didn't know when it was going to happen but here it is but here so, it is as many of you know from watching last week's video um, we lost Muffin a week and a half ago but she'd been sick for quite some time, and so Pam and I had had a discussion um, about, you know, we've, we've known for a long time that we were a two-cat household. Yes. Um, and so this, I didn't expect it to happen so soon, but I went to get my nails done last Saturday. Um, not yesterday, but a week ago Saturday. And uh, there's a pet co in... <laughs> <laughs> in the plaza <laughs> and they were having a cat adoption event and can you just <laughs> there you go and um so i met a cat there and uh, but i wanted pam to meet him which i have and so we went on thursday and oh this is Macaroni. This is Macaroni. Say hi to the peoples, Mac. Hi. This is little Mac. He's a boy cat. He is a boy cat. He's very squirmy at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but he's very loving. He's As very cuddly. He's very cuddly. There we go. And so we call him Mac for this short. This is your debut. Your I debut. did ask him if he was okay to be on camera because he is under 18. <laughs> um, but... Um, He's a little love bug, and he is five months old. I was confident he was a year, and then when we went to go get him, hi buddy, hi buddy, they were like, "Oh yeah, he's five months." And milkshake is like, "Cool, got a new friend." Yep. So, whoop, oh, oh, gotta get out, gotta get out, got places to go. But he's just the cutest, 
and we love him very much. Say hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> And we, we put a little him. collar on him so that we so know where he is. So we know where he, where he was all the time because he's because he's just lives very curious about everything. He's very inquisitive, as we say. We didn't even use any kind of segregation initially, like sometimes they advise you to do to introduce a new cat. We just opened up the carrier and he just stepped right out. Yep, and he's very brave. He's been doing fine, and he's been doing just really great. Yeah. Okay, Dawn, you gonna go? Goodbye. Yep. We love him so much. Oh, we're just in love with him. Yes. We have, so. a, we have a little boy in the house. Yes, and it is very interesting. So he'll probably come up and say hi again at some point. Yeah. Because he... Now he's having lunch, but you know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Mac. So we didn't know when he would make an appearance. Had yeah. He, and so that's, there he is. that's pretty much it. Um, if he becomes too bothersome, he's <coughs> fine in the carrier for short periods of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, anyway okay, sorry to interrupt the whip portion. We but... didn't know when that would happen. Okay, great. Okay. Your next and whip, Pamela. The other okay, one. Let me take this for you. Yeah. I didn't bring the project bag over. But the other one that I worked a little bit more on had some comments about mm. the um, Little Women Christmas Morning. From Twin Peak Primitives, mm -hmm. that what I had shown at that moment in whatever video that was, yeah, it kind of looked like just four detached heads. <laughs> Yikes! So, so you made it look less like four floating heads. I did. That's nice. So they're you. starting to. Oh yeah, really? They're starting, they're starting to, to come together a little bit more. That's I still funny. have one. Um, disembodied head, but so Yikes. I have three of the four girls, and I just love this project. Yeah, it's really, really I, cool. I just love this project so much. So there they are, the March sisters, on Christmas morning, mm. and if you remember from a movie version or the book, you know that there was a family that lived close to the Marches. Um, who were struggling a little bit financially. And so Marmy, who's the mom, asked the girls to pack up some of their breakfast and they took the food over to um, their neighbors. Oh, that's and sweet. So I believe this was the point of reference that Nerdin used when yeah, she probably, designed yeah. this. That makes and sense. it's just lovely. I'm yeah. doing it on the... Uh, linen, count linen, the 32 count linen with white dots, the gray with white dots. And yeah. so that I made a little bit more progress just so that yeah. it didn't look like four floating heads, floating heads. So perfect. And I am enjoying this tremendously. Mm -hmm. You can still get this from the twins. Yeah. And so that was another thing I worked on. Exceptional. And... The other thing that again I'm gonna keep at the keep at the at, ready at the ready is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow mm -hmm. because I want this to be a finish soon. Yeah, because didn't you say you only want one Hawk Run Hollow? At yeah, a time? I want to start Shores. Yeah, well you're, but, you plan to, but I want Halloween to be done more or less. Yeah, well not more or less definitely. So this, I'll show the whole thing. This is on 32 count autumn linen from under the sea. And so I only have where this needle minder is. Is the last block. Is the last block. Okay. Let me fold and it up. And so. then she's going to fold it to show you the. The train station. Uh-huh. Which has new meaning now that we've watched Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Mm. But. It's easily my favorite block. Yeah. So I finished that up. So sort of a little. I love it. A little ringy ding for finishing. The, I love that snake around the pole. I know. That was kind of a surprise to me. I don't know. I don't have the color photo right in front of me. As sure, I'm sure, stitching. sure. Yeah. So when I got to the snake and I saw that it was the orange, I went, oh, this is very cool. Yes. This is all cool. DMC. I didn't do any silks on this. Nope. And um, the DMC colors are fabulous. 
So don't hesitate. Don't think you have to do it in the silks. Yeah. In the money. Yep. Um, so. I want to fold this with the stitching inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I will keep that difference. ready at hand and get going on the last block. You could. Is this on your whip go board? No, no. I don't think so. Okay. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't work on it. Well, no, no, no. I yeah. Know. And um, that is a full coverage block, that last one. It sure with is. With all the skeletons under the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Yeah. So uh, my strategy will probably be to do all the all the shapes yeah, and, and then, just then fill leave in. the fill in. You could probably bring, do, if you do all the shapes before stitch away, then just bring it to stitch away and fill it in. Yeah, that's in three weeks. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. You act like you don't. <laughs> day every day. Coffee to cocktails, baby. <laughs> so on. those were my mine. Okay, so those so are our whips of the week. Plus a cat. That's right. Okay, okay, hold okay. please. Promotions. Promotions. Alrighty, welcome I to. I love when I shake my head and my turkey neck goes like. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Pam, calm down. Um, all right, so this is the promotional portion of the program. That's right. And <clears throat> to start off, we've got the so much to love project bag of the month for the month of December. We love it. Um, and um, first things first, there are still openings for the club. So there is a link in the description box below that we highly recommend that you click on and sign up for the club. Mm -hmm. It is, if you've been a viewer of our channel for any length of time, you know that we have been in this club for years. We love it so much. We think it's absolutely 100,000% worth the money. And plus, yeah. it's this nice surprise gift at your door every month. That's so, right. Uh, so, if that doesn't persuade you, I don't know what will. I know. Uh, so, every month, we get a beautiful package delivered to us from So Much to Love. It is not only a fantastic on-theme project bag, but inside there are a ton of extra goodies that go along with the theme of the bag. So, I'll show you those first. So, we've got three skeins of DMC. Always. Merry Christmas. Always helpful. Yes. Some peppermint candies. Yum, yum. We always get a bag of stash tea, and this is called Christmas Morning. So precious. Might have to have that tomorrow morning. Well, you might have to. While well, I'm still sleeping, thank you. <laughs> and then we got this cute little... Snowman notepad. We love a notepad. Love a notepad. Yes. And then, uh, not every month, but maybe every other, every, you know, we get a exclusive design from a very talented designer in our industry community. And for December, Amy Bruken has contributed and we love Amy so much. Okay. Yeah. And uh so this is the design for this month's bag. It's called S'more Time. Love it. Look at him. Mm -hmm. And the finishing is adorable. And I also love some more, so there's that. Mm -hmm. um, so very, very cute. So between all of that I'm sure that you could probably guess what the bag looks like. But well they'll never guess. Well, I'm sure that you have some sort of an idea. <laughs> it's so, December. This is the December project bag of the month from So Much to Love. It's just so holly jolly. Look at them. Back is more of the same. I love it. I love they this. really look like Amy Brooken. And that's what uh, Karen said in the yeah. in the letter yeah. was that when she saw this fabric, it made her think of the Amy designs Brooken of the design. snowmen. The Brecken. I never say it. Right. I know. Is it Brecken? Is it Brooken? I think it's Brecken. I just think it's Amy. Yeah. So, um, but they had a, an Amy vibe. Yes. And I could so. not agree more. Um, and then this is the interior of the bag. Lovely snowflakes mm. with red. Oh. I love it so much. So, um, again, if this doesn't... <laughs> I love how you ban it. <laughs> so much to love. December 2023, Project Bank of the Month Club. You Thank know. you so much. Um, sign up on the link below. 
Okay? Yeah. Because if it's, don't put it off because then there won't be any spots left. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And then we have um, the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. Mm -hmm. So uh, every week, uh, either we find one or the twins find one or we work together to pick one. It is a pattern that we love that we think that mm -hmm. you will love too. They discount it by 23% for 2023. And then we tell you all about it and you can go buy it at a discount. So yeah. this week's Pattern of the Week is what, Pam? This week's Pattern of the Week is called Meredith. And you can decide whether Meredith is the bird. Oh, yeah. Or Meredith is the snowman riding the bird. Oh, baby. But it was part of an exclusive kit yep. from the twins uh, during the past year. Yep. They've now re-released it chart only. Yeah. It was a big hit when it was uh, an exclusive it was. kit. Yeah. Big hit. Yes. Yeah, so and let's show them a picture. Winter themed, not necessarily Christmas. But you so, can have it up all year if you are. You can have it all season. You know, sure. it's it's just great. And here's yes. a picture of Meredith. Here. Yay. Yay. We it's love so Meredith. Cute. We do love Meredith. So if you love Meredith as much as we love Meredith, and you would like to get your hands on a discounted copy of Meredith, then uh, you can go to either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop for a discounted PDF version. If you would like a discounted hard copy of the chart, you can go to the Daily Stitcher, uh, which is linked below as well. It is an online needlework shop. So there's no code, no nothing that you need to put in. Just put it in your cart and check out. That's right. There you go. So yay for that. Yay for promotions. Yes. Alrighty. All right. That means it's time for mail call. All right. We have to temporarily pause to go get the mail call. So we will be right with you. Right. We're back. Okay. So first things first is the Christmas cards. So everybody settle in. Okay. Because mm -hmm. it's the week before Christmas. Well, it's Christmas Eve. So it was the, the whatever. Yeah. A lot of cards. Okay. Um, that's yours. Mm -hmm. So we each received a lovely handmade card from D. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful? So pretty. Love wow. them. Like, that's amazing. I mean, they could be ornaments next. They sure could be. In their next life. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> these precious puppies. This is my favorite. Uh -huh. I'm obsessed. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know who is who, but um, the owner is Cindy. And then they're uh, Cindy, Apple, Ozzy, and Buttermilk Joy. I don't know which one is Ozzy or Buttermilk Joy, but I love them just the same. Okay. Right. Love them just the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Sorry. We're there back. we go. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Then this lovely card from... Brian and Teresa of Needle Bling Designs. Nice. Then there are a lot of Christmas trees coming at you. Uh, Lynn, one of our all-time favorite fans. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much. Then this is from Cindy. Mm -hmm. Oh, very pretty. So cute. A lot of glitter. Yeah, a lot of glitter. Uh, this is from uh, Michelle up in Maine. Mm-hmm. And then she also gave us a limited edition gentle arts and some 2024 charms, which we love. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Michelle. Yes. Then this is from Shelia. Cute. So fresh. Then this from Kay up in Balmouth. <laughs> Balmouth, Maine. Uh, this is from Katie and Andy. Hi, Andy. <laughs> Look at them. That's actually a, a drawing of Katie and Andy. <laughs> Love it. Uh, this is from our friend Linda. Look at the foxes. Oh, so the fox and the squirrel. Excuse me, fox and the squirrel. Yep. This is a super cool card. This is from uh, Chris and Hannah, and I love this. So if you see this. Yeah. So if you go like, wait a minute. No. Oh, no, we're not doing it. So right. hypothetically speaking, this is where the message was supposed to be written. 
whatever. It doesn't really matter. No. But as you can see, it's like a cutout situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was trying to. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, I think it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. Very cool. Very neat. Haven't seen a card like that. Uh, then this is from Vicky. I love mm -hmm. those Dana's. Then we got this cute po Christmas postcard from Darla. Love them. Cute. A lot of vintage this year. I think we mentioned that last week. Mm -hmm. But uh, then this is from our friend Pam. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Ginger kitty. Uh, another vintage Santa from Karen. Oh, so cute. Then this is from our friend Melinda. AKA my coworker Melinda. Um, and I, she ha wrote the funniest little, like, the way that Melinda, you did the back of your Christmas card. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. And then this is from our friend Judy out in California. A lot of Christmas tree cards. Right. Do you know Vintage what I mean? Santas and Christmas trees. Yes, that is the vibe this mm -hmm. year. This is from our friend Susan in California. Pretty. Love that. Love it. Another penguin love card from our friend Perlinda in New Mexico. I love the typography on mm -hmm. there. It's so cool. Uh, then this is um, from Missy. Cute. So cute. And then they also sent this with all the cats. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. We love we love a cat at Christmas, obviously. Mm -hmm. Then this is from our friend Angie, who we're going to see at Stitch Away. I love that. Yeah. Um, I feel like we've gotten also a lot of peace mm -hmm. doves this year. Understandable. Uh, it, from Lori. Look at that. was Snowman. So cool. Then this is from uh, Ezia and her family. That's New York Dreamer. Mm-hmm. Love her, love him, love the whole family. Then this is from our friend Nayla. Look at that. So Amazing. cute. Precious, mm -hmm. precious. And then this is from our friends Marianne and Joe. <laughs> Look at that cat. Um, I think Marianne's your oldest friend. Pretty much. You knew her before you met Vic, right? Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She's not my oldest friend. My oldest friends are back in Maine. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay, well, yeah. sorry. Um, okay, so this is um, from Rose. Rose also gave us um, a few gifts that we're going to show momentarily. And then this is from another Lynn. I love this one. I mean, I love them all, but I like yeah. the coloring on this one. Mm -hmm. Then this from Beth up in New Hampshire. It's a red truck with a Christmas tree, babies. And this is from Deb in Wisconsin. Pretty. Beautiful handmade card. Mm -hmm. And she wrote handmade just for you. Aw. So pretty. I've liked this one a lot, too. This is from Jane. Look at that. Love it. Look at that little massy with this little tree in his bird. Mm -hmm. So cute. And then this is from Karen. La Flambe. <laughs> LOLs. Then this one is from Irina. Yeah. Irina in New York. That's right. So pretty. See, another Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, okay. These. Oh, the Okay. And then will you put the, um, mm -hmm. those in? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So this one is from Linda at Richter Stitcher. I'm obsessed with this. I could put this in a frame. Yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah. A little hint of glitter mm -hmm. from Cavallini and Co. Don't know who that is or what that means, but it's cute. Uh, then this is from Candy, the 614 Stitcher. Mm -hmm. Then we've got uh, cards from both... Um, Chris and Jane of the Boss Stitchers. Right. So, we had a couple weddings this year, but mm -hmm. look, look at this. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, was this picture taken at the farm? Because we both think it was. Yeah. 
But maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But it's cute. This kind of looks like that railing outside. Look at this dog. Mm -hmm. So freaking cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. Then this is from Angie at Bub My. Very cool. Obviously, Pam loves this one. <laughs> Obviously. Um, we did get a card from uh, the Vishers, who is Chris from Sitchy Fix. And, uh, but there's, you know, obviously children on it. So, uh, then from the Carolina Stitchers, love that. Love the Stitch Con represent. Right. Uh, this is from Janet Jabber. So cute. Peace. Love that. And, uh, this, I die. I just die. So this is from Debbie and Dave, um, of Snug Harbor Crafts, obviously. And I love, this is Debbie outside the hotel that we stayed at in the Netherlands. Yep. And then that's Dave outside with the rubble, um, in Marrakesh. And then at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. So I feel like we're sort of on the card and I love that so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is from Vana. I love this fox. Mm -hmm. Then this from Vicky, the Virginia Stitcher. The red truck. Love it. But doesn't have a Christmas tree in it yet. Okay, this. <laughs> okay, this is from Colette. Yeah. At Highway Stitcher. Yeah. And it says, warning, this Christmas surprise isn't for the faint-hearted, only the cute-hearted. So this is what it looks like. And when you press this, it meows. I'm not going to press it because Mac will come running. Right. So, so just know it's hilarious. It's a huge hit. We love you, Colette. Right. So, all right. So, moving on, um, I mentioned some gifts from Rose earlier. So, Rose and Tiffany are two very good friends. They happen to also live here. And so, they left, um, actually... Yeah, so the, these are from Tiffany and her family. Oh, right. And Pam yeah. and I basically got very similar yeah. gifts. So Tiffany is a very talented card maker. Yes. And so she made me a card set with Wizard of Oz characters on them. Crush. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. And my assortment was kind of... um. A mixture of different occasions. Mm. So, like, this is a birthday, and then we've got a, a thinking of you. Tiffany, you are so talented. I mean, seriously. And then there's um, a, a happy birthday, mountains and trees. Uh, they're just great. So great. Yeah. Yes, love them. Yeah. And then she also included, look at how cute these little, like, gift containers are. Precious. Mm -hmm. And we got a little, um, yeah. Frog. Oh, whoops. Pam. I'm spilling, but I got my container as well. And this is a little frog soap. So cute. I don't know what fell. I think the pen fell. Okay. And then she included for each of us one of these pens. I Remember mean. Remember those where you where you press the color Slide down. Slide the little color bar down. So good. I love them so much. Thank you so much. So fun. And Didn't know they made those anymore. And then this cute little thing with uh, peppermint floss and scissors. Scissors. So cute. Who doesn't so, so cute. So thank you, Tiffany and the Pikes. That's right. We love that. Mm -hmm. um, and then my sweet um, friend, cat sitter, ex-co-worker because she retired this year Linny dropped off this very special Christmas gift for me I did not know what it was obviously but she stitched this for me look Hold at it him. up so they see that it's a on a, pe <laughs> <laughs> on a pedestal <laughs> yes so she had it finished on the skin. isn't that adorable I love it so this is a heart in hand, we Santa. Yep. So freaking mm -mm. cute. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it's like already like just put it on the table and it's ready to be displayed. That's right. Thank you, Lenny. I love you. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I'm trying to keep everything in somewhat semblance of order so it's not just a chaotic mess Good when we're done. Pam. Okay. All right. So, 
Then um, we also got this card uh, from Jan. I think it's so cute. Um, and then she also gave a very generous donation to buy me a coffee. All right. Thank you very much. Yes. And then um, local stitcher, customer keepsakes, just keep stitching viewer, Crystal gave us this card along with don't you just love those? I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Thank you. So much. Like truffles or some such. There's hazelnut. Yeah. Oh, they're so oh, good. Oh, oh. And then um, I think that this is the same crystal because she gave that's yours. How many crystals can there be? I mean, look at this cute little situation. Look at this little mug. It's so cute with the, all the hot cocoa situation. Winter wrap up. Such a great gift. We love a mug. We love a chocolate. We love a hot cocoa moment. So. Walkers, um, shortbreads. <coughs> yeah. Oh my god. A little chocolate stir we situation. We're not going to go hungry. No, ma'am. We're just going to eat chocolate for the rest of our life. And I can't wait. Um, okay. And then um, we got a card from Karen, who is the Stitching Owl. Mm hmm beautiful beautiful card mm -hmm. um can you put that with the rubber banded ones mm -hmm. please and then she also stitched us these beautiful ornaments aren't they lovely so pretty i love the beadwork mm -hmm. so beautiful gorgeous mm -hmm. thank you so much karen we love them mm -hmm. we love them and okay what's next okay then um one of our dear dear friends Caitlin, she sent us a package. Now, um, a lovely, lovely letter, Ka Caitlin. Lovely. Family like, update. It was letter. so awesome to like hear all the things that was going yeah. on with your family, so we thank you so much for that. Yes. She also gave us a very generous Visa gift card, mm -hmm. Caitlin. Mm -hmm. um, I'd show you the card, but her daughter is on there. and Her adorable daughter. Adorable daughter, yep. Yeah. And then she also included this super cute kit. Mm -hmm. Frightfully, what does that say? Frightfully fun. I saw it said frightfully fluff. I was very confused. I don't think we have this. No, I so, don't. We don't. So I'm very you. excited about that. And I love Bam Creek. Obviously. And it's a full kit, so thank you. Uh -huh. And then uh, she gave us a 60 sheet notepad. Look at mine with the freaking beach cats on it. Hilarious. And mine with a stack of books. Caitlin. Perfect. So thoughtful. Mm -hmm. We love it so much here. It did. Again, trying to keep it all together, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we got this adorable box from Susie in Illinois. And um, she used to design and had a shop, and she sent us this adorable little pattern. Yeah, I recognize this pattern right away. I haven't stitched it. Memories are stitched with love. So cute. It's from years ago. Yes. It's beautiful. And then, you guys, then she stitched us this adorable ornament with the fox on it and it is from the little stitcher isn't that cute and so this is perforated paper and it looks like she like painted the perforated paper with the snowflakes it's just darling incredible yeah literally incredible thank you so much yes we love it okay and these little boxes are coming in very handy for christmas wrapping Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. So then sorry. Then um this lovely Jean Gina? Jenna? 
Oh, I should remember. I'm so sorry. It's Jean. It's Jean. Yeah. And uh, her and her husband came into Keepsakes yeah, this week. Jean. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they are from Arlington, Texas. Mm -hmm. And she so lovingly gave me two little packages, each of these cute little baggies. And then this is the card that she gave us. Cute. So fresh. And in each of our bags so precious were these adorable ornaments that she stitched and finished on antique spools aren't these lovely are you dead look mm -hmm. at mine with the little holly leaves mm -hmm. they're we're so we're not gonna cute. jingle them much because yeah they wake up the little boy cat. yeah uh -huh. well maxter so mm -hmm. but we love them thank you so much and again so sweet and generous mm-hmm and she said she'd stitched a ton of them this year, so I can only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> and then at our um, staff Christmas party, I have to show you. These were from Melinda as well. And Melinda gave us these little packs of floss drops with... This is cross-stitch. You can't see it because of the yay. Okay. See, mine's an S. Yeah, and mine's a P. Melinda, we love them. Very sweet. Melinda, Melinda is also is the one who gave us the the sign. It's behind here, and it says it's an add to cart kind of day. Mm -hmm. So that was where we started with Melinda. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we got this lovely, lovely card from Desiree. Um, I actually lent a chart to Desiree and she mailed it back to me. It all worked out great. And she sent it back in this package, this box with all sorts of goodies. This beautiful Christmas card. Mm. Love that. Mm -hmm. And she gave us like literally the box was filled. You know how you just put those in a dish and you walk by and you just it's, grab one? Yep. Because they're like that. there. And then she made counting pins. Yes. And um, a floss drop. <laughs> you are so rude today. And um, it's, Oh, yeah. The counting pins are great. Yeah. They're so cute. Peppermint, Santa mm -hmm. Claus, adorable. Yeah. Desiree, you outdo yourself, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So... Thank you, thank lovely. you, thank you. Actually, just lovely. Put those because they're not ornaments. Oh, I see. Okay. In here. Okay. Trying to, again, keep it all straight, you know. Got it. And then I have a bag with um, with treats. So that way I don't, I'm not tempted to eat them on camera. <laughs> if you know, you know. So, you know, because I just can't control myself yeah. sometimes. And I don't control it. Clearly. So, there's that. Okay. All right. Next up is a beautiful package from our lovely friend, Suzanne. The same Suzanne that went with us to Europe. Yep. Hello. <laughs> My mama. Look at him. So cute. <laughs> so, so, so cute. And a lovely note inside. We love you, Suzanne. As you know. And then... Here you go. Mm -hmm. Suzanne. Okay. When we went to Europe, mm -hmm. we went into the, a lot of yarn shops. It was awesome because Suzanne knits and crochets. I don't, but I can appreciate it, of course. And so I was just like walking around, touching all the stuff, being like, so, so, so cute, so cute, so soft, so pretty, all the things. And I was like, but I can't start a new hobby. I can't start a new hobby. And Suzanne said, well, pick out some colors and I'll make you a pair of socks. And I said, really? <laughs> and she said, yeah. So I did. And so I got my first pair of socks back from Suzanne. Look at that. They're so pretty. And she's already tried them on and they fit perfectly. Of course. And I love them and I'm going to wear them all the time this winter. Mm -hmm. And I just love them so much. Like they're not like super, super, super thick. They're just like perfect for lounge socks. And I love a lounge sock. Okay. So, Pam, you are spicy today. Okay. You are spicy today. 
What'd you say? Nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I know. And then she made me a project bag. Oh, I love it. She knows how much I love a patchwork bag. And then if you notice, it's got two zippers here, one pocket here. They're not connected. So it's two separate pockets. I love it for your scissors and your threads and all the things yeah. that you need to carry around. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it, Suzanne. Thank you so much, honey. What did Suzanne send you, Pam? So what Suzanne sent me. So this was really funny. So Suzanne, like Steph said, she went to the Netherlands with us and yep. Debbie and so forth mm -hmm. and Christine and so forth. And so um, there was a uh, finishing class held at Dutch Man, <coughs> and there was pre-stitching. Mm -hmm. And so, um, long story short, I did the pre-stitching. I did not attend the finishing class. Mm -hmm. And we get home from the Netherlands, and we're, you know, sorting through everything. And somehow Suzanne and I were chatting, and I said something about, I can't find my my design from, mm -hmm. from the twins, from Dutch Mania. And she said... You know, you silly rabbit, you gave it to me to finish, which I had forgotten that I'd done. Obviously. So, this was the um, finishing class. Mm -hmm. We pre-stitched this adorable windmill design from the twins, and then uh, Suzanne lovingly put it on the finishing board with the year yep. and everything. So, so great. Thank you, Suzanne. And she put it in my bag, mm -hmm. which... I just want to touch this bag, Suzanne. It's like flannel, and it has the same two twin pockets on the front, mm -hmm. but this is Nova Scotia tartan, you guys. Mm. Yes, Suzanne's it is. Suzanne's Canadian by birth, and so she appreciates my love of Canada. Mm -hmm. and, and your Canadian if, roots. And if this is not a McKay tartan, it's pretty darn close. Yeah, for so, sure. So, thank you, Suzanne. You know we love you. Yes. And... She called me on our way to pick up macaroni. Macaroni, and I said, "Every time you call, it's like you live next door." And she's yes. in Texas. Yeah. So um, we wish we lived. Next we door. wish we lived next door. Oh, what fun we'd have! Oh my goodness, Grace, we get so, so much trouble. Anyway, thank you, thank you again. Yes, we thank you once. We thank you twice. Yes, absolutely. Okay, and I. Then, okay, the next box to show is from Mary. Mm -hmm. And Mary is on Instagram as a Mary Stitcher. Yes. And she's hoping to soon be on YouTube as a Mary Stitcher. She did. She's loaded her first YouTube already. Oh, great. Perfect. Yes. So, let me... And it's... Um, uh, Mary as in Merry Christmas. Right. I mean, her name is Mary, M-A-R-Y, but her channel right. is a Mary Stitcher. Mm -hmm. Okay. She did get her first one up. So. Exceptional. Haven't watched it yet, but it's there. Okay. And... So she had messaged me quite a while ago and said that she had some of the um, We the People fabric from the Primitive Hair uh, because she knew that I was going to be uh, starting Queen of Freedom. Yeah. And was I planning to stitch it on the We the People fabric? Yeah. And I, and I was honest with her. I said, I honestly don't think so. Right. And she said, well, I know I'm not going to use it. So I'm maybe send, you would. sending it to you. And I, I might. Yeah. Um, I haven't decided yet. So Come this on. is the We the People uh, package of linen from the, from the Primitive Hair. Yeah. Is that right? Not the primitive hair. Yes, yes the primitive yes, hair. Yes, primitive yes. hair. Yes, ma'am. So she was going to send it to keepsakes, and then she didn't get around to it. And so she said, I'm just going to send um, it along with some other things to your house. Give me yes. your address, blah, blah. Yes, and she baked for us. Oh, my God. We've already eaten some of them. They're yes. delicious. She gave us cinnamon chai snickerdoodles. Chocolate mint cookies and brown butter chocolate chip with toffee bits. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. They're absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. We literally ate some right out of the box. Right. So, right out of the box. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Mary. That was very sweet. Yes, we love it. And I appreciate getting the fabric as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. 
Um, okay, and then I think this is the last bit of mail call here. Um, technically, did it come in the mail? No, but it traveled a long distance to get to us. Um, so I've mentioned um, these ladies before. There is a lovely lady named Kobe that we met in 2019 when we went to the Netherlands. We love her so very much. And um, then she has a dear friend named Sarah, and Sarah comes back to the United States during the holidays or vacation throughout mm -hmm. the year mm -hmm. and she stops at keepsakes yeah on Kobe's behalf and then always brings me gifts right. and it's so sweet yes and very kind mm -hmm. so and then they also bring a gift for the keepsake staff which is amazing anyway so let's show you okay I have true confessions one of the bags of treats happened to be my favorite fruit snacks from the Netherlands, and I've already opened it. So they're not in the bag anymore. I'm sorry about that. You're lucky to strip waffle are, though. Right. Because they're the mini. They're just, they're just so poppable. You know what I mean? They're poppable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then this bag of, is it Haribo or Haribo? Mega Mix. Freaking pumped for that. Can't wait. Put these strip waffle away. Then we each got a pair of socks. I'm not sure which one was which, but they're look at him. Yeah, and they've got the the grippy backs, so we Perfect. won't fall down. Yes. <laughs> is, listen. Listen. We need all the help we can get. Okay. Listen. Uh, and then I love this like brand of sticker that they have over there. I don't know, like they're really good. I might borrow just... some of those because I'm gonna use that. Oh yeah, yeah, from, yeah. This would be great. You know. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and Deco Time. They're and really cool. They're very, very cool. They're like what comes in those sticker books. Yeah. But they're just neat with like mm -hmm. textures and yeah. And then this one was, which is the one Pam was referring to, um, has a lot of like mm -hmm. organizing stickers on it, which is cool. Yeah. So I love those, obviously. Mm -hmm. Then, where did you see this? There was a stitch piece inside, and. This was in, I believe, a Punch Needle magazine. Yeah, she mentioned it. I yep. don't know what issue, but yep. probably a newer one. Yes, and it is absolutely splendid. And look at this finishing idea. This is so good. Yeah. So this is on a piece of foam core like. Yep, it is. And then this is the cross stitch piece. I love the off-centeredness of it. And it's the, so pretty. And then the ornament hanging off. With a little home. Oh my goodness. It, it, looks, looks, it looks like just a gift. in an easel. Yes. Put it in an easel, people. Yeah. It's or beautiful. you can even like put Toby, it's beautiful. We could put it in the three tier tray or not three tier, but in the tray back here. Mm -hmm. It's so great. It's just beautiful. We love it so much, Kobe. The year. Oh, it's just lovely. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And she did um some scrap of paper on the back, which is yep. perfect. Yep. So oh yes. Uh, and then this is the beautiful card. The square cards. With. We love them. We love it. And she even said, oh yeah, okay. <clears throat> so this is called Snow Deer. Right. Designed by Fox and Rabbit. There you go. And the Just Cross Stitch is 2023 issue. There you go. There we go. Okay. And then she said, another one for your card collection. Beautiful. So, love it so very much. Thank you, Kobe. And for, is it Sarah? Sarah, yeah. That delivered. Yes. Yes. Thank you guys so very much. Okay, so I think that that is all of the mail call. Yeah, I think so. Fantastic. Yes, we also got cupcakes from our friend Melissa. Oh, yes. Cupcake Stitcher. We went yes. to pick them up, okay. and we've already started eating them. They're Obviously. amazing. So you good. might have seen Melissa's oh, Insta yeah. story where she was putting them in the boxes. Incredible. Because she's awesome. Yes. We love you, Melissa. Okay. Is that everything for mail call? Uh, it's everything I have. Next. All right, so we're going to clear the decks and then bring in the hall. Yes. Okay. And we're back. All right, so now we are ready for the hall portion. So why don't you go first? Okay. We got notified that Rachel at... Um, 
Needle and Flax. Needle and Flax up in Michigan uh, was coming out with a color called Mackinac Fudge. And it's been in the works for a while. And as soon as I realized it was available, run right over. And I got a fat quarter of 32 count Mackinac fudge. Look at that. It's Isn't that amazing? so good. And Rachel, of course, does all of her homework and gives you all kinds of background on her labels, which all the deets. I love. Yes. She also came out with a color called Furly, which is based on the character uh, Ralph Furley from the Three's Company TV show, yeah. played by Don Knotts. If you know, you know. And this is a fat quarter, 32 count Furley. Isn't that pretty? That's very gorgeous. True. So I got two of those. Yep. Exceptional. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. And I also picked up, uh, you know that I started the Boston Tea Party mm -hmm. on the 16th. Yeah. And that is from Willow Hill Samplings. Mm -hmm. And I had a couple others from the Birth of a Nation series from her and realized I wanted to get the complete set of Birth of a Nation series. So yes. I found both of the ones I didn't have mm -hmm. to add to my stash Yeah, uh, from two different eBay sellers, and they were very reasonable. And they have the same border as the Boston Tea they Party. Do. So, Vanessa, if you're watching, um, this is Betsy Ross. She's obviously making the flag. Clearly. Obviously. Clearly. And this is Paul Revere's ride. So my intention is to it's stitch them all in the though. same count at least. Yeah, sure. Um, which is 40 <coughs> count. And um, just have them all match together. Have them all match. Right. Not all in one piece, but all in the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Color fabric and count. Fabric. And I also, uh, did you pick this up for me? No. Where did I get it from? You bought it your damn self. I did? Yep. Oh. I think you bought it from one, two, three, stitch. Oh, yeah. I think I included it in a one, two, three stitch order. Yeah. Um, and it's from uh, Crochet a Go Go, and it's called The Little Penguin. So. I mean, he's just I so mean, damn cute. You just had to get him. Mm. I just had to. And it comes with a little candy cane button. So. Yeah. Precious. To. What does it say on it? <clears throat> Penguin Love Hot Cocoa. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. Look at him though; he's so cute. Um, I am planning to go on a chart diet in 2024. Mm -hmm. um, that does not mean <clears throat> I won't cheat on that diet, uh, but I am going to be very intentional. What's a diet if it's not there to be cheated on? Correct. Um, but in anticipation of that, I went through my favorites on Etsy. Oh boy! And looked at the ones that were marked down. So these are all PDFs. This one was inspired by Brenda the Handwork Maniac because just about everything Brenda stitches, I want to stitch. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been doing um, some watching of the Gilded Age and we're kind of getting into sort of that period of time. Mm, so I good. don't know. Um, this is from Al Forest Embroidery and it's called Black Vintage Sampler. Brenda is already stitching this. And I just love all the motifs, particularly the horse and buggy and the submarine and the schooner. Grandfather clock. Oh, yeah. It's great. Did you get that from Al Forest Brewery's website? Uh, I think I got it from their Etsy, Etsy oh. distributor. It's a PDF. Ugh. These are all PDFs, folks. Okay. Um, this is from our friend Romy at um, Romy Creations. Uh, and it's called uh, Vitamin C, S, S, E, A. Thought that was super cute. These mm. were like two bucks. Um, this I thought was sweet. This is from uh, Cross Stitch Mini Patterns. Again, on Etsy. And this is uh, Bruges. And, of course, we went there mm -hmm. this year with the bridge in the fall. All the things. These are from uh, Cute Patterns by Maria. And um, 
you really need to check her out. She is uh, a Ukrainian designer, and her shading is something else. I have loved this for a long time, and it was marked down. This is called Winter Window. I have loved this for a very long time. Beautiful. Yeah. Love the back stitch on it. Yeah. And then she had um, a four-season series, mm. and I'll save that for last because I think that is. Let me Your see favorite. if I put that. This is summer. This is spring. Yeah. <laughs> So, this is Spring, Lovely Spring Sampler from Maria Brovko. Her shading is amazing. She's the one who designed yeah, her. the fox, the bunny in the fox sweater. Yeah. Yep. That Katie stitched for you for yep. the. Mm -hmm. This is Lovely Summer, pardon me, Lovely Summer Sampler. I love the watermelon. That's mm -hmm. a great watermelon. This is lovely autumn sampler. Look at that pie. Cute. But this is my favorite. Obviously. This is lovely winter sampler. Oh, it's so good. Look yeah. at those ice yeah. skates here. Love it. So pretty. And I also love this one. It's six, so funny. Six cute ghosts. And I love the guy right here, of course, with yeah, the Yeah, reading. He's cute. But it's just so cute. Those are all from Cute Patterns by Maria. Awesome. Um, on Etsy. Again, awesome. Ukrainian. Yep. And then the last one or two. Two. This is from... Um, you did go ham, didn't you? Yep. Wombat Stitching. On Etsy as well. On Etsy. This is called Christmas Town. I just thought the colors were fantastic on that. Looks like a little Dutch town. Uh-huh. A little bit. And then this is from one of our favorite designers, Sarah Germani. And it's a very small picture. You but, can show the thread list. It's fine. Oh, that's true. But um, this would be another good candidate for the polka dot fabric. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's called Prepare a Vidi or per probably Prepare the Tree. Something like that. Beautiful. Yeah. She's Italian. So. So Pam um, went ham. So I went Etsy. ham on Etsy because they were marked down. And. Great. Um, and try to spend all that money before December 20th. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just going to be more uh, intentional. About, um, because what, I, I have a large dash, so. No. No. Shocker. Okay. No. So then. Oh, wait a minute. Should I show these? I mean, if you want. Well, we finished up. I finished up with the, um, Advent, uh, box from. Forbidden Fiber Co. Forbidden Fiber Co. Yep. Um. <clears throat> Four more envelopes with chart and floss mm -hmm. from Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, a um, Frogger. Seam Ripper, technically. Seam Ripper. That was the packaging for the thing that's in there. What else did we get? What you got here? Come here. Sorry. You got, you got that jar right there. Yeah, that, this was, was, that was Christmas Days. This is Christmas Days. We opened it. I opened it early. Yep. Lovely pin cushion. Oh, that's right. And look at this ornament. It says Bah Humbug. Because the whole theme was a Christmas carol. So. Yep. And then you got these. And then the pins, marking pins. Lovely. Yep. Okay. It was very fun. Yeah. It very, was super very fun. fun. Yep. Um, and I will stitch the chart. You can put those the pins chart. in the pin cushion. That's right. But right now I'm going to put them back in the bag. Well, obviously. So uh, <coughs> that was the one Advent thing I did do this year. Yeah. And it was super fun. Absolutely. Uh, I've said this before. I'll say it again. Any company that is putting together Seriously. boxes, like for Advent mm -hmm. or whatever. Yes. Bless a you. tremendous amount of work and imagination Wild. and talent goes into these. Yes. So. Um, creativity all the things it's this bananas was, this was super fun yes okay absolutely. now i'm done okay so um they we also um placed as i think this was a different one to three order but 
show them that Raven. Okay, um, this is thanks to um, Julie um, from um, Running with Sister Stitching with Jane and Julie. Oh. This is up. It's relatively. It's been around a oh, while. Yeah. Not like from a long Cecilia time. at Heart and Hand. It's called Ye Old Crow Sampler, and Was what I never realized know? about it is that the in the alphabet the C, the R, the O, and the W are laying on their side yeah. or their back. I thought that was kind of clever. It is clever. So um, I like anything that somebody does a little bit differently, mm -hmm. and this would make a cute small, so I picked that up. Yep. And then uh, in that order, just to, you know, whatever, uh, I got this new, new-ish Plum Street called Bony Bunch. I just think that's precious, and I like the cat skeleton. I think it's cute. What does she use for? Snickle Way. Hmm. From Seraphim. Oh, okay. Cool. And then, um, that's a good dark, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. And then I've been doing some organizing of my charts and things I've talked about. And for some reason, um, I was missing these two from a Lizzie Kate collection. And the only place to get them is one, two, three stitch. So, uh, this is what it will look like with all the words on it. And I just think that's really pretty. So got that. And then um, I placed an order with Color and Cotton on their website um, because um, I uh, I started the Autumn Quaker, which I've shown a couple times on here, and then from Primrose Cottage. Um, and then the Winter Quaker, so I'll go back to Christmas Quaker, um, I absolutely fell in love with, obviously. And the called for thread that's charted for the winter quaker by primrose cottage is a color called battleship that is dyed by color and cotton so i got an email notification that battleship was back in stock so i ran over to color and cotton to get two skeins of it then i ordered the chart and christmas quaker from primrose so that hasn't come yet so i'm not showing the floss yet because i don't have the chart to show to go with it but I will show you the other two charts that I picked up from Color and Cotton to make it worth the shipping, basically. I got a chart for me and a chart for Pam. And this is Winter Blessings by Plum Street Samplers. I like the birds. I like her dress. And I like his little legs. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Yeah. And she picked up one that I've got my eye on. It's called Christmas in the Colonies. And for obvious so reasons, cute. I love them. Yes. Love them. I love it. Yep. Uh, then these uh, are from Keepsakes. I picked all of them up for myself, but Pam has her eye on one of them, so mm -hmm. I might give her that. But um, this is from Erin Elizabeth Designs. This is called Sleigh Rides. Love it. Love it. So pretty. And then the one that I might give to Pam if I'm feeling kind is called Frosty Nights, also by Erin Elizabeth Designs. Mm -hmm. I love this. Sucker for blue. Sucker. I love this little plaid house down here. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. And that bird is so good. It's just great. It's just great. Frosty Nights. I'll put it in your pile, Pam. Thanks. And then this is, uh, I believe, yeah, new from Shannon Christine Designs. That's and I just can't. It's called... Christmas Manor. Yeah. Ooh. So I'll put this up next to Winter Rose Manor, which will be next to the Light of Winter, which will be next to Santa Stops here <laughs> on my Christmas house's wall. There you go. I just like the use of the negative space oh, on the house. The shading of that tree, man. Yes. And that little duel. I think you should. And so all the doily looking snow down at the bottom. Oh, it's so oh, gorgeous. Oh, lacy. Mm -hmm. So gorgeous. So can't wait to stitch that one. Then, this is not technically haul because I didn't pay for it, but Pam did. <laughs> and this um, was a birthday gift from Pam. And I didn't want to show all my birthday gifts because I feel like that might be braggadocious. But I do want to show this because I'm very excited to add this to my Blackbird Designs collection. It's been on the top of my list for a very long time. And this is Honeybee Hill. And I have wanted this for a long time. So here's the story. So when I first started working at Keepsakes back at the end of 2017, this chart was still in print. We had a model of this. I think we actually had a model of this too. They're both charts are in the 
here, obviously. But back then, I wasn't into Blackbird Designs, and I could give a crap less, okay? <laughs> so then, when the chart went out of print, oh well. Then I started getting into Blackbird Designs, and I wanted to kick myself directly between the teeth. <laughs> Just right here, you know? Just you ding-dong. You should have bought it. So from then on, I've been searching and searching and searching and searching and searching for it, but it's been kind of unpleasantly priced. <laughs> On the uh, That's a good phrase. yeah, Unpleasantly on the yeah, on the eBay's, and so um, I was just like, whatever. Someday I'll run across it, or someone will, you know, offer it to me for a reasonable price, maybe. And then I opened it for my birthday this year, and I was very excited. So I didn't pay astronomical. I, I hope mean, not. I paid a chunk, but yeah, but not. It was for her birthday. So I mean, what, what more can be said? So, yeah. so anyway, so that I do believe is officially all of the haul. Add to cart. Okay, so at this point, um, so we're not going to do a tour de wall just yet. No. We'll do that once we get into January, but seeing as it is Christmas Eve, we do want to share with you our Christmas tree, because if you've been with us for numerous years, you know that typically we do record our videos on like our regular philosophy videos on Sundays in front of the Christmas tree and we haven't done that this year and um, it was just lighting was bad and mm -hmm. all the things that just wouldn't have worked out so um so we want to share our Christmas tree with you so um at this point we will give you a what we hope you'll find to be a lovely tour of our Christmas tree enjoy enjoy <laughs>
enjoyed that. Yes. We have enjoyed looking at our tree, and sure neither have. one of our cats... Um, have any interest in climbing it. No interest. So they like great. sitting under it, and that's yep. great. Yep. So... We'll take it. Yep. All right. Time for giveaways. Yes. So, um, we first we'll do the part where we give the giveaways from last week away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we had two, like, friendship, courage style flowers all kinds of stuff themed bundles two of them mm -hmm. and so um i of course recorded myself picking the winners of those items mm -hmm. and so we'll insert the videos of me picking winners for last week's giveaway giveaways uh, here hello and welcome to this week's giveaway portion of the program please forgive the glare but we're doing this in the afternoon obviously so um we don't have blinds here so um so that's why i'm at this kind of weird angle anyway back to the giveaway uh welcome thank you okay so um we have two bundles for this week's video of course and uh we have the flower bundle and the friend bundle so first we're going to draw for the flower bundle using the youtube random comment picker this is the url for the video and then the keyword, and we're gonna put in F L O W E R, flower. All right. Two hundred and forty six comments using the word flower. Alrighty, let's pick a winner. Goober2455. So, so sorry for your loss, JK. Thank you so much. I uh, love everything with a flower on it. Merry Christmas, my friends. I feel like we are friends. I sit with you two every week. Well, congratulations, Goober2455. You have won the flower bundle. Yay! Congrats. Okay. And now we're going to do the friend bundle. F. That's not F. F R I E N D. Did I spell friend right? I did. Look at me. Okay. Let's see how many comments use the word friend. Two hundred and seventy seven comments. Alrighty, let's pick a winner. Mariah, Mariah, 1104. I'm so sorry about Muffin and Mozart. Thank you so much. I hope Mo should give tons of cuddles and purrs to you both. Well, she has. She's been the best. Uh, so, congratulations, Mariah, 1104. You have won the friend bundle. Yay! All right, so congratulations to both of our winners. In the description box uh, below the video over here, you will see, come on, focus, focus, focus. Can you please, thank you. Okay, so there's Pam's email address. So send her an email with your first and last name and your mailing address, and we will get your bundles sent out to you. So congratulations to you both, and I'll send you back your regularly scheduled programming now. Bye. Okay, okay so... so Congrats to whom, Pam? Congrats to YouTube user Goober2455. Oh. So they won the flower bundle. You're going to get the flower bundle. Yep. And Mariah, Mariah or Marie H. Oh, this. Maybe it's Marie H. It's probably Marie H. It's one of the two. 1104, hun. There you go. Yeah. If you're either Mariah or Marie H. H. You won. I'm a big fat idiot. Sorry. It's hard because these numbers, you know. Yeah, all they, the things. They're, yeah. It's not anyway, their fault. It's not. So, now it's time for the last giveaways of December. Yeah. So, as promised, we said we'd come full circle. And we would Christmas. do two Christmas bundles on Christmas Eve. And here we are. Yes. Okay. So... Alrighty, so the first bundle includes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I need to write my notes. Okay. It includes the following charts. Signs of Christmas number one, Gingerbread Bakery. There you go. We promised it would be in a Christmas giveaway, and here it is. Mm -hmm. This is First Frost by Hands-On Design. Mm -hmm. This is a duplicately purchased chart. Mm -hmm. So, my mistake is your reward. Mm -hmm. uh, same goes for this one. This is called Bells of Christmas by With a Needle and Thread. Beautiful. Love them. Mm-hmm. So much about it twice. Then uh, this is January Snapshot, mm -hmm. which you've seen Pam Stitch. Mm -hmm. Love that. Super fun. Then this cutie patootie we won from Heart and Hand called Bernard. <laughs> Love him. And then you will also receive... All, is it 9 or 12? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mm. All 9 parts to a Frosty Forest by Country Rising Works. Now, I will tell you that there is... This set was sent to me as a gift or giveaway so i will tell you that there is very very not on all of them but on one or two there's like some highlighting just a little bit though yeah. like very minor yeah. um and like she had to do some converting so she wrote that down there so it's very very minor i would stitch from them myself but i ha i don't need two sets of them so mm -hmm. um so all nine charts don't. for that okay then so that's the first bundle. Right. So to be entered into that giveaway, mm -hmm. um, you need to leave a comment below using the keyword frost. I knew it was going to have something to do with the temperature. Yes. F-R-O-S-T. Okay. Frost. <laughs> frost. That is for bundle one. Mm -hmm. Then bundle two. We've got some vintage charts in here. So this is the Christmas collection from Fancy That. Look at the kings. That's mm -hmm. cool. And the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. So Christmas collection from Fancy That. Then we've got Tiny Treasures from Dimensions. Look at these cute little stockings. Look at that moose. Mm -hmm. So cute. So cute. Then there is, this is called Holiday Treats from Dimensions as well. And let's see if there's the artist. But. So all these cute little Christmas situations. So cute. Look at that mistletoe. That's mm -hmm. cute. Then we have the... Um, Second annual Santa, and it is from Sue Hillis, and this is the For Santa's Friends or the Birdhouse Santa. So cute. Mm -hmm. I love the little bag that says bird seed. Mm -hmm. So cute. Mm -hmm. And then it does come with the charm, so you have that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then this is from Stacy Nash. This is Deck the Coop Pin Keep. Love it. Then this is from uh, Stitches by Ethel. This is called Wintergreen. Love that. This from Bent Creek called Little Christmas. That's a classic Bent Creek. It is. I love the red. Look yes. It. Now I need to know what the red is. It's DMC 115. The variegated red from DMC. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we got three Lizzie Kate charts. This is from the Christmas Spirit collection. So you get cookies and Santa, I do believe. Yes, you get the chart for both in that one. Then this is the Santa from 2002. It says Jolly Man Bearing Gifts. Love it. So cute. 
And then this is from the Jingles collection. I had a duplicate in my stash. And this is Joy to the World. That's cute. Super cute. Mm -hmm. And then last but certainly not least for that bundle, this is the Holiday Wishes Mill Hill. This is the one that I stitched, so it doesn't come with any of the beads or anything because I threw them all out like an idiot. So, uh, but... Do with what you will. Yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. so to be entered in for that giveaway, mm -hmm. we're going to have you use the word... Holiday. Holiday. H O L I D A Y. Holiday. Holiday. Yes. Okay. So, All right. Um, so you must be 18 years of age or older to enter. You must be a subscriber to this channel. Uh, you can live anywhere in the world. We don't care. We'll mail it, mail it anywhere. And uh, we will be recording a video next week. Mm -hmm. um, it might be Saturday. It might be Sunday. But whatever you get basically a week to enter um and that's it that's all i have about the giveaway so good luck to you and yours mm -hmm. okay all right we have uh a quite a list oh quite a list quite a list of folks who took advantage of the buy me a coffee or kofi links in the description box mm -hmm to send us some very generous donations yes these are used towards framing finishing and postage expenses and we sincerely thank each and every one of you that option is available to you it is an option yes and um, not required by any means you don't get any special prize or privilege uh, and except your name said on our video that's it and we <laughs> sincerely thank you yes so all right, I will do the first four. Okay. And you and do the... Sounds great. All right. Well, thank you, Sharon. You're doing the first oh, four. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that was your decision. Thank you, Jana. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Allison. And someone who just wanted to be known as a stitching friend. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Thank you. And a huge thank you to Linda. Thank you so much, Linda. Carol. Thank you, Carol. Kathy. Thank you so much, Kathy and Cheryl. Thank That's you so right. much, Cheryl. And we sincerely appreciate we uh, all these uh, contributions. They wow. really do help a lot. They sure do. Well, it's Christmas Eve. It is. Around here it and uh, around the world. Yes. So um, some of you that uh, may be almost Christmas watching, in. it's yeah. Christmas Day already for you. So we hope yeah. you're having a merry one. Yeah. And... Um, for we, those of you who are spending Christmas alone, we hope that um, we can keep you company today. I think right. that sometimes it's overlooked that December is not the easiest month for everyone. That's right. Um, and for those of you who have been taking the load on, if you've, if you've been the one who has done all the shopping, all the prepping, all the cooking, all the wrapping, That's all right. the stuffing, all the things, I hope that you get some time to yourself to stitch, enjoy, and relax. That's right. Um, Very well said. And um, for those of you who your Christmas doesn't necessarily look like what you thought it would look like, um, we love you, and we hope that you know how Just special you are to us. Just bringing a tear to my eye. <laughs> and we hope you know how special you are to us. So, yes, um, much so. So this Christmas, it obviously looks a little bit different than we thought it would look this year, and we're more happier than ever. So, um, so there you go. Yeah. So sometimes change yes. is good, you know? Yes. Peace and love. Yes. To everybody. Yes. And I got to take uh, him out of here before she loses <laughs> her mind. <laughs> no, um, we, um, uh, we hope that, uh, you enjoy the, what's remaining of 2023 and are looking forward to 2024. Yes. We will be here on New Year's Eve yep. day. You bet your butt we And, will. uh, we'll be getting ready for, uh, the ball to drop and all that fun yeah, stuff. Exactly. So, uh, that being said, Merry Christmas. Yes. Happy New Year. Not yet. Not just yet. Just Merry Christmas. Just, 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 just Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Just Merry. So, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We if hope you Santa brings you all caught it in snatches, more power to you. In snatches, really. What else would it be? 
caught it in snatches? Well, you know, like in snippets, snippets, snatches, snippets. <laughs> I think we have different definitions of snatches. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and have a very Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. Merry Christmas. Let's just keep stitching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>